This is today's TMJ4, live at daybreak. Right now at 5, tracking the storm. Our Alicia Wilson live inside our today's TMJ4 storm chaser in Kenosha County this morning, keeping an eye on the weather that moved in all across the southern part of our viewing area. Our crews are out monitoring the first major snowstorm of the season. Our Sean Gallagher is live in Lake Geneva, and Lauren Winfrey is live in Oak Creek this morning. And we're looking live at Waukesha. Keep in mind the roads are still slick out there, but you can see the difference between Waukesha. No snow there, but of course a lot more snow where Lauren and Sean are this morning. Welcome to Live at Daybreak. On today's TMJ4, I'm Pete Cervakis. And I'm Elise Preston. Let's go ahead and toss it to meteorologist Brian Isnanski. You've had a busy morning, Brian, and the snow is still coming down in some parts. Yeah, southern spots. The area's already hit hardest. Still seeing snow this morning, but conditions are starting to improve. Now, this is a live look at downtown Racine, and besides a little bit of ice on the lens here, visibility is starting to improve. Again, that's a sign of things starting to wind down. I'm starting to see a little bit clearer picture of some of the buildings there in downtown Racine. But a blizzard warning remains in effect for Racine and Kenosha counties until 6 a.m. All other advisories, warnings, blizzard warnings have been canceled across southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, Storm 4 Max radar showing the back edge of this snow. Uh, Racine, you probably have another uh, half hour of snow to go and then down towards Kenosha, maybe another hour of this snow. So another half inch to an inch possible additional across our southern spots. Okay, day planner as we go through the day. By 8 o'clock, some blowing snow, but I don't think we're going to get much drifting because the snow is just so wet and heavy, really tough to move. By noon, windy still, 32 degrees, and by 4 o'clock, 28 degrees cold heading into this afternoon. All right, our Storm Team 4 meteorologist Alicia Wilson out in the snow this morning. Actually, we're going to go over to Julia. Julia, you got an update on some traffic conditions. Right, Brian. Looking outside, you can see wet roads in Milwaukee County. Still a reminder to slow down in our area. And then we're going to take a wide map of the travel times. And we see, we spotted, see these two crash reports on the north and southbound lanes of 4194. It's in the north and southbound lanes. So no matter where you are, this is a great reminder. It's still slick out there. The roads are wet and things can change quickly as the morning goes on. So we will keep updated for you. And also, let's take a look at the current traffic times. Things look on time in Milwaukee County, but again, that's just one other reminder to be careful out there. Right, Julia, yeah, it's 5.03. That's the big story this morning. The first big snowfall of the season. The storm system slamming parts of southeast Wisconsin. Alicia Wilson is live in our storm chaser with a closer look at the roads this morning. Alicia, where, Alicia, where are you guys? Well, we're still in Pleasant Prairie. We're um, on the outskirts of town, and I can tell you that the conditions are poor here. We just saw a lady that was over in a ditch. She was about three or four feet down in there. She said she had called 911, and help is on the way. We felt real sorry that we couldn't help her out, but her car was still running, so she has heat so she can stay warm. Uh, hopefully, everyone will uh, get to her soon because she was uh, deep down in there. But you can see that the roadways are still uh, covered in snow. Of course, the plows are out. They're out here plowing. They're treating the roadways, but it's just going to take some time to get to all of this because they were out last night and making the passes then. And now with the additional snowfall that we're seeing, although it's light right now, um, there's still uh, snow covered roadways here in Pleasant Prairie and in Kenosha County. So we're heading uh, farther east at the moment. We're still seeing some blowing snow off the rooftops. And like Brian said earlier, it's a heavy wet snow. We saw one person uh, braving this system out in their driveway. They were uh, shoveling the snow and they were having a tough time. And of course, it was slippery as well. The guy, he was kind of waddling around like a duck. So hopefully he's all right. But again, if you don't have to be out, I would say just go ahead and delay your trip at least so that the plows can continue to get out here and treat the roadways. Reporting live in Kenosha County, Alicia Wilson, today's TMJ4. All right. Well, you definitely be careful out there, Alicia. Thank you so much. It's 5.04 this morning. We're also keeping an eye on flight cancellation out of Mitchell International Airport. We just checked, and for those traveling this morning, most flights are scheduled to depart on time. Only a select few flights were canceled or delayed, especially those traveling to Chicago O'Hare. A few flights arriving to Milwaukee 
were canceled. They were coming from Kansas City and Chicago. More than 700 flights have been canceled at Chicago's O'Hare Airport as well. Dozens of others are delayed. Several counties across Illinois have also been dealing with a blizzard warning. If you know of anyone flying through O'Hare, make sure they check their flight status with their airline. It's 5.05 just into our newsroom. We are getting our first school closings. Badger High School in Lake Geneva and Lake Geneva Middle School are also closed this morning. Of course, we've got a full report of roughly eight inches of snow near Lake Geneva. That's where Sean Gallagher is at this morning. Sean, what are you seeing? Yeah, Pete and Elise, things are pretty slick right now. The uh, roads are starting to get cleared, and you can kind of see here behind me, there's been a guy that's uh, clearing off some of the sidewalks here. I just spoke to him moments ago. He said this is that very wet, heavy snow, making it very difficult to shovel up right now. He has the benefit of having a snowblower, and if you have that as well, great day to be able to break out and use that, because if you have any sort of condition where you uh, don't feel comfortable uh, lifting this wet, heavy snow, definitely get somebody else to do that for you. Now, if you're waking up in the Lake Geneva area and you're going out the door. Definitely give yourself a little bit of extra time. The roads are very slick right now. Uh, you can kind of see there's a little bit of that snow cover. Uh, that uh, Very slick though underneath. Now I have seen a lot of crews that are out and about this morning in Lake Geneva trying to get these roads as clear as possible. They do have the benefit not snowing right now. No extra accumulation that's occurring right now in Lake Geneva. But again, give yourself some extra time this morning uh, right after Thanksgiving. Why not give yourself a little bit of extra time? In Lake Geneva, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. We're hoping to see another limo pass through your live shot, Sean. Yeah, I was kind of wondering what that limo was doing. <laughs> 5 a.m. on a Monday in Lake Geneva in the snow. That person must have had one heck of a weekend. <laughs> Who knows? All right, thanks, Sean. Be careful. It's 506 Slushy Roads in downtown New Berlin. Many neighborhoods in the area have been preparing for the season's first major snowfall. Department of Public Works initiated Operation Ice Control shortly after 7 last night, sending out more than 100 salt trucks. I'm Julia Fellow at the Live Desk, keeping an eye on outages from this storm. So we energy crews have been working overnight to restore power to thousands. You can see workers in the snow. This is in Kenosha. Just last night, it's kind of hard to even see what they're doing. The outage map shows more than 50 outages in Kenosha, Racine County is affecting more than 5,000 customers at this hour. We have a link up right now at TMG4.com for you to see that outage map as you go outside. All right, Julia, thanks. And of course, now is a great time to download the Storm Shield app. You can get weather alerts on the go for your exact location. The app is free to download. And taking a live look outside at Port Washington, this is just one of the many areas that avoided the brunt of the storm, Brian. But for some, they're waking up to a headache. That's going to be the theme this morning, just a huge range in snow amounts. Locations from the north side of Milwaukee into the northern suburbs, barely a flake. And then still snowing down towards Racine and Kenosha. And this is the area hardest hit through the night last night with wind and heavy snowfall. I think in the city of Racine, you got another 15 minutes to a half hour of snow, then you should be done. Kenosha, maybe another half hour to an hour. Additional snow, maybe up to another inch down towards Kenosha. Commuter forecast on the way to work. Certainly some slick and slippery travel south of Milwaukee. In fact, some of these roads are in really, really rough shape if you're out the door very soon. If you have the option to travel and commute a little bit later, I would do so. And then as you head home, breezy and mostly cloudy. Our next chance of a couple snowflakes in your forecast coming up.